All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York. And this is the dreamiest. So this is another one of their Oat Cream India Pale Ales. Comes in at 7.8% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This can is exactly eight days old. Pretty damn fresh. So they say that this beer is the culmination of their single hop dream slash daydream series. So any beer that other half has uh, and produces that uses the word dream in it, they're using a crap ton of oats. And if you see daydream, they're using a crap ton of oats with a hint of lactose. And three of their favorite hops are Mosaic, Citra, and Galaxy. And that's what's in this beer. And then they double dry hop it with Mosaic and Citra Cryo hops and then more Galaxy. So honestly, those are probably my three favorite hops. And I'd imagine probably the three favorite hops of a lot of people. Those are just, you know, at the top of the food chain, so to speak, when it comes to hops that I enjoy. And the fact that those three are in here, they're using, you know, a bunch of oats, some lactose. I'd imagine this is gonna be delicious, but there's only one way to find out, to crack it open and pour it in. And I love the label here. I just, I love the label. You guys will get a you know, chance to see it here when I put it down, but yeah, now, wow, that's pouring out super light in comparison, but that label is just awesome. Love that label. It's so shiny and reflective. Anyway, yeah, so, oh my lord, I smell it from here, holy crap. So this smell, or this smells, this looks like a beautiful beer. It has that, you know, yellow honey look to it, a very vibrant and bright. I don't know how this is gonna come off on camera uh, since I'm, you know, using uh, the new, I guess, lighting slash color uh, settings on my, on my phone, but it looks beautiful. Hopefully it looks beautiful on camera. I had about a half finger that's dissipating to a thin film of a pretty much bright white head. It just looks beautiful. Let's get a nose. Oh my lord. Oh wow. I just want to go back in. Wow, that galaxy is screaming tons of candied and crushed pineapple. Just like mango sorbet, peach and apricot, lychee, just all the tropical fruits. Every single one, anyone you want to name, they're all in here. And then there's this nice dank component too, underlying dank component. <sighs> Definitely a little bit of vanilla from that lactose. They usually say in the daydream they're using a hint of lactose. More often than not, I get a little bit of a vanilla uh, you know, characteristic, and that's what I'm getting here. It's not huge, it's, but it's noticeable. Oh, as I keep on smelling it, it's just like tons of candied crushed pineapple, but there's this nice dank component to the beer that's kind of like surrounding it. Stopping it from just being straight on juice and too sweet on the nose. It's breaking up the monotony of sweetness and just straight on, you know, tropical fruit character. Man, I could just sit here and smell this for like the next 20 minutes and be happy. I don't even have to taste it. But when you review beer, you got to taste it. Anyway, let's get into this one. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it's fucking delicious. I will say this, the nose was way more, dare I say, bombastic and vibrant and uh, just in your face than the taste is. The taste is still awesome though. So first off, body and mouthfeel. I say this in every every single other half review, but it's but it's other half. Never had, if you've never had a other half beer, basically the body is like medium to higher side of medium body. This is 7.8. Uh, you know, approaching imperial strength, but like higher side of medium body is fine. And then because of those oats, because of that lactose, it's smooth, it's creamy, it's luscious, it's pillowy, it's everything, any word you want to use to uh, describe a, a very soft and smooth mouthfeel, yeah, can be used here. But the nose kind of follows suit, but just dialed back about, you know, 25%. Tons of crushed pineapple, uh, more mango, I would say, and apricot and like peach stone fruit vibes. There's definitely more citrus too in the taste. Thought... There wasn't really any on the nose, but in the taste, I'm getting more of like a sweeter orange, some pithy, and almost slightly bittering like grapefruit, uh, you know, some of the peel as well. A little bit of lychee. Hmm. It's not super complex, 
but there's quite a bit going on here. The thing is, at 7.8%, I can't tell it's 7.8%. There's a little bit of a warming into the stomach, but outside of that, no, I can't. You know, it's almost 8%, drinks like it's like six. What I do like though is, as I continue to drink on it, there is a slight to moderate bitterness building up on the back of the palate and a decent dryness that's kind of drying out. Uh, which is keeping it from being too sweet because right up front, just all that like creamy, sweet pineapple and tropical fruit character, it's kind of hit midway through your palate with a like herbaceous dankness. And then on the back end, you're you're left with a moderate, well, slight, slight, we'll just go slight to moderate bitterness, like I said, and then a little bit of a dryness, like a semi-dry finish. And it makes it infinitely more drinkable. I do think without that, for me, this would not be all that drinkable. But as is, yeah, it's another delicious other half beer. What else is new? You guys come here, you see another half review. Eric Gilbert does it, you know, what's other half? What's Bellwoods? I don't know. They're delicious beers. That's what they are, Eric. And uh, the dreamiest from other half is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. It's not my favorite. I thought I would probably, you know, put this to the 4.75, 5 out of 5 range based on the ingredients, based on the fact that they say this is a culmination of all the single hop dream slash daydream beers. But for me... I do like some a uh, bit better within that series, but regardless, this is absolutely divine. It's a delicious beer. It's super tasty. It's fun. It's complex, but not overly so. And the best part about it, the best part about it is that it's super easy to drink at almost 8%, and you can get in trouble with this one, so watch out. Anyway, that does it for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I appreciate you guys all stopping by to check out another review, and until the next one, Cheers.